Uh, the second thing I want to say is to thank all of you for coming here and for giving me the chance to be with all of you. And I would like all of you also to meet my wife, Usha. Uh, now, like many people in India today, Usha's family came from what is now Pakistan. Her family came from Sindh as refugees to, uh, to India. So that's Usha's background. And uh, I'm very grateful that Usha and I together can share these days with all of you. I want to say a word of gratitude to the uh, brother and sister who sang the song, uh, the prayer song. Uh, where is your sister? Come here, both of you. Now the song, the prayer song that these two sang uh, was a favorite prayer song of that man there on the pedestal. It was written in the 15th century by a wonderful poet called Narsi Mehta. And in the 15th century and the 14th century and the 16th century, all across the subcontinent, there were some wonderful poets who wrote magnificent poetry uh, that tried to reach the Almighty, tried to reach the human heart, and tried to reach all sections of society. That's one aspect of India's history that not many people know, are these great poets in the 14th, 15th, 16th centuries who produced absolutely magnificent prayer songs. And my grandfather Gandhi first heard that song when he was kind of their age. So imagine this, 15th century the song is written. When Gandhi is their age, he hears that song and is inspired by it, he loves it and makes it popular all across India. And now these two sing it in Cleveland. Isn't it fantastic? Thank you. From the 15th century to the 21st century, what a wonderful story. Thanks so much.